Hi everybody, I'm Mark Murphy from Dingle Cookery School here in the southwest coast of Ireland. Today we've got a really nice recipe for you. It's a cauliflower potato and chickpea curry. Very, very easy to do. So what we're going to do is we've got my pot on. We're going to get a little bit of oil in there. Now the secret to every good curry is how you cook your onions. So we're getting our onions in there and we want to cook these nice and slowly. You want to cook them down for about five minutes. That's going to give it a nice bit of sweetness. As you're doing that, you want to keep the sizzle nice and low. And that's the sort of noise you're looking for as well. It's just a nice low sizzle. And that's going to bring out some sweetness in there. The longer you can cook these, the better for yourself. But make sure that you keep the temperature nice and low. So get a little bit of butter in there as well. Why don't you get your butter in? Get some garlic and ginger. That's always a key to a curry. A little bit of garlic, ginger, fire that in. And just stir that around. We're gonna let that cook for probably about two minutes. Again, just let it all sort of cook down nicely. And the smell is just fantastic. It's starting to release the ginger and the garlic. Now at this stage, it's been cooking for about two minutes. We're gonna add in some chopped cauliflower. It's always going to give it a nice, um, nice flavour. With them, we've got uh, some diced potatoes. Just fire those guys in there as well. A little bit of chickpea. Now, what we want to add now is some spices. So I've just kept it to four spices. What we have is put in a, tape or a teaspoon of uh, ground coriander teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of chili powder, and a small bit of turmeric. This is going to give it a nice colour as well, so about a half a teaspoon, and just put that guy in there. Now all we need to do is stir those spices around, get some liquid in there, and we're going to cook it for another little bit. So put those spices in. And because the spices are ground, we don't need to toast them off and um, give them more flavour. So just stir them around. Now, what we're going to add next is we're going to add some coconut milk. And try to use the full fat version of coconut milk. Get that in there. I might have to put a small bit of water with that as well. And just pop that in. I'm just going to stir it now and leaving it, that's going to cook for maybe about 20 minutes. In that stage, our cauliflower will be cooked, potato will be cooked, and that will have taken on all of those spices. And it's not a hot, hot curry, but just really, really nice one that you can have at any time of the year. Just really, really good. Now, our curry has been cooking for a little over 20 minutes. It's ready now. We've just checked our potatoes. Potatoes are cooked through, our cauliflower is cooked through, and the flavor, you can just smell it, it's incredible. So now we're going to just serve up a little bit of that. So what we want to do first is we want to just taste it. We want to season it. A little bit of salt and pepper. Such a lovely flavor, really nice. Nice and warming without being too hot and spicy. So, just going to bring it over here. Get yourself a nice bit of that mixture. Look at that, isn't that just amazing? Put that in there. And it's a nice, it's very simple one, very easy to do. Don't ever make it complicated. Also, feel free to substitute other vegetables in there. Maybe a little bit of courgette is nice sometime. A um, little bit of sweet potato or squash. And I'm going to serve that with a small bit of steamed rice. And finally, just to give it a little bit of freshness at the end, a tiny bit of coriander just sprinkled over the top. So there we have it. Really nice cauliflower potato and chickpea curry. And you can see it's something that you can put together in less than half an hour.